Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Nikki and this right here is Kiyomi Lee aka My Little Strawberry. And in today's video, this is going to be something super quick and simple. We are going to go to the water park today. And I did not want to do her hair in a lot of ponytails or anything like that. Because after we leave the water park, you know it's full of chlorine and everything. So more than likely, I'm either going to be coming home tonight to wash your hair or I'm going to be taking it down in the morning and washing it. Regardless, it's going to be washed very soon. So I'm not going to put too, too much effort into making her hair super cute or a style that will last for like ever because it's coming down. Even though I do believe this hairstyle will last for at least two or three days, if you're not going to the water park, look at her. She's so silly and she's so happy. But jumping right into it, we're going to use her nose as a guideline and try our best to make sure her, her middle part is centered. And we're going to just go ahead and drag that all the way to her neck, to the nape of her head, which will create two sections. And that's what we will start off working with. Yes, I use a rat tail comb to achieve a very clean part. I don't always do it, but I'm trying to get a little bit better at making my parts a little bit more neater. Um, a very fine tooth comb, in this case, will achieve that. However, as thick as her hair is and as kinky, curly, coily as it is, I cannot use this comb at all to comb through her hair. Won't do it. Nope, will not put her through that torture, nor will I do that to myself. So that is what I'm using the rat tail comb for. I do have my white tooth comb, so when I am ready to comb her hair out, um, I'll use that comb for that, and then I'll use the rat tail for parting. And as you can see, we just have a basic part going from the top of her forehead to the nape of her back, straight down the middle. And we're going to get started. As you are watching this video, if you are not already subscribed to this family, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Um and join our little family. We just we love hair, we love new hairstyles. We love being imaginative with the hairstyles that we can create and come up with. You know, I love positivity, okay? We want to be positive over here. And I'll always be coming with some new hair inspo. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button as the video is playing. You won't miss out on too much of anything. And if you do, you can always hit that rewind button. But go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Join this family. And yes, it will be greatly appreciated. And hit the notification bell so that you can tune in. Every time I upload, you will be one of the first to know by hitting the notification bell. Thanks. Now that that first ponytail is complete, we're just going to leave that alone and let it sit as is for now. And we are going to create the second ponytail just like the one previous, uh, maybe an inch and a half of width between the two parts like you see me doing here. They don't have to be absolutely perfect because as you part, you see how closer to her ear the parts look much closer than the center of her head and that's fine because the further you go back the more space you'll need because we won't continue to keep going straight down like this even though our parts will continue to be pretty straight um so anyway yes go ahead and brush that up smooth it girl smooth it this style in my opinion it needs to be pretty smooth a smooth laid look so we can create our braids at the end and they can look very neat and cute
So here we just put her hair in a hair tie just to simply keep it out of my way so that I can show you guys very clearly that right here we are just going to just bring it the part straight across, you see? And it kind of created a sideways triangle for that ponytail that I just wrapped up. And we're going to go ahead and do the bottom ponytail first just so that we don't have any more hair in our way because if I was to do the one above this first that would have been just that much more hair not really a big deal but that's just the way that my mind and thought process was working at the moment so we went ahead and did our bottom ponytail first before we did the ponytail above this Look at that, and it still kept getting in my way. But that's all right, because we are ready to secure it with the hair tie right now. And we're going to go ahead and smooth that down and secure it. We are starting our braid and as we braid down because i know how to braid i didn't really um make this side as visible i don't think but when i do get to the opposite side i try to do a technique that would be more helpful for the people that don't really know how to braid or aren't that great with braiding because on this side i just simply braided the hair and as i went along i picked up the braid picked up the extra hair from each ponytail and incorporated it into this braid like you see me doing here i just went straight down and kept picking up the the hair that was coming out of those ponytails and for me this was really simple but when i get to the opposite side i will show you just a slightly different technique that i use that may help the people out there that are not that great with their braiding yet um i think it'll help you so just stay tuned so you can catch that other side as well and see the different technique that I did to do that side. So what I did differently on this side that I did not do on the other side was with each particular ponytail, you know, a braid needs three strands. So I made three strands and I just finger coiled each strand just a very slight amount just so that the each each three strands from each ponytail can be separated so that way when I'm braiding down it'll be a really easy process for you to just pick up one of the strands and connect it or add it to the, the braid that's coming down the head so I know I probably sound all kind of crazy and all over the place when trying to actually verbally explain it, but I'm glad this is a video because you will be able to visually see exactly what I'm doing. So now that each ponytail has the three sections finger coiled, we're going to go ahead and start with our braid right at the top and you'll see how 
it was it was pretty easy for me to just go through and pick it up but because like I said I do know how to braid and in my head it's just so much easier for me to just grab it and go this picking up each section was a little bit confusing for me at first but it was a really simple process it wasn't that difficult at all as you can see you just pick it up and you keep your braid going so it was a little bit simpler but if you know how to braid it might be just a little bit more confusing I don't know to each his own you know something there's something for everyone out there so I hope this helps some of you if it is helping you go ahead and leave a comment I'd love to know that this has helped some people and if it is much more confusing for you leave me that comment too and let me know give me the feedback y'all I need to know was this helpful or was it not give a thumbs up thumbs down just let me know and when I was done with her hair, I was like, okay, baby girl, you still look like a girl. You're cute. You're pretty. You're all of this. But I just want to add some glam because this is a very, very super simple hairstyle. And I just wanted some glam. So I have this gold string from my braids that I put on a few of my box braids. And I'm just going to go ahead and somehow twist it onto her braid, add it, loop it, swoop it, or whatever you want to do to it. Um, I just made the, you know, the triangle crisscross look that everybody's doing. And what I did was just put it underneath each French braid because they're not really, really French braids. So there's like a little loop underneath each braid in between each ponytail. So go ahead and wrap it underneath. And then when you get to the very bottom, you can go ahead and tie it off into a knot and that will be secure. Um, it is actually two days later that... I'm doing the voiceover to this video and that string didn't go anywhere it stayed perfectly in place for two days because I'm just now getting around to actually fully washing her hair yes it has been two days but don't get me wrong the night after her swim we did go ahead and rinse her hair out thoroughly hope you guys enjoy love you until next time peace